here with Dylan Davis. Uh, just missed it, the jockey title here at, at Belmont Spring Meet. Aqueduct Spring Meet, just missed it by one. Won the winter meet. Hottest jockey right now in New York, in my mind. You know, what do you pertain to your success that you've had the last, let's say, six months? Uh, it's just been a build up from the, this to this point. Uh, me and my agent, Mike Migliori, we've, we've been working together for about five years now. Uh, it's been a stepping stone, uh, but I think we've put a lot of the pieces together and and uh, we've been getting a lot more opportunities through this past winter. And I think it's just a lot of hard work and dedication to the sport, which got us here today. When you talk about uh, opportunities, you had the most mounts of the Belmont yeah. Spring Meet. You know, how does that feel? Is there wear and tear on the body? What about the, the Saratoga Meet here? We have extremely competitive colony. You're expecting to get as much mounts as before. Uh, I feel honored and grateful that uh, I'm, I have the most mounts, uh, just because that people want me and, and I'm thankful for that, uh, you know, and just trying to keep it going through to, to the, through the Saratoga meet. Uh, hopefully it'll be the same again. I, it doesn't bother me that I ride the most mounts out of all the jocks. I enjoy being out there and, and riding the horses. So I just continue on to ride my best and, and put 100% on in every race. When talking about this colony here, you know, people are, there's a lot of talk. It's the most competitive colony we've seen in years in basically any track anywhere. You know, what do you think is going to happen here in terms of we've seen smaller fields coming down? Is it going to be more competitive? Is it more selective on the mounts? What exactly are you focusing on with your agent, Mike? I was just, uh, we're trying to keep our business uh, together, like through uh, that we've been riding through the winter and spring. Um, again, just trying to ride our best and, uh, uh, it's definitely a tough colony. I've been riding with these guys for years and uh, I know what to expect. So so I'm just, again, trying to do my best out there and, and, and try to win races. I got to ask you about the Wilson shoot. There's a lot of talk about it. You know, the eight furlongs, a little one and a half turns, let's call it. Um, have you ridden it yet? Have you tested it out? Uh, I was kind of misinformed. Uh, I thought it was going to be this morning uh, through the stewards, but uh, they did it yesterday. Uh, Dad used to, Dad rode it, rode in it. Uh, he wasn't a big fan of it. and. Uh, just gonna i think inside post positions is gonna be very difficult so we're gonna have to break out running and try to get some early position to to make that turn uh if you don't then you're gonna have to, to uh sit back and make a make a run later but uh that that shoot looks a little difficult and might have to take a couple tries to get through there but once we get through it it's just making sure we break break good and and get in position if you if you don't then it looks like you're gonna be in trouble yeah, there's also been talk about how far back the chute comes. There's not much room behind it. So if you have a horse that's not necessarily comfortable, it's sort of tight, tight quarters in there. And then they are leaving the first two, looks like they're leaving the first two stalls open for the meet. So it should give a little more room there. There's also talk about how you come downhill after the chute. Obviously, yeah. you said you haven't been able to try it out yet, but have you spoken to anybody and talked about that downhill movement there? Uh, I did. So the plans are is uh, I, I talked with the stewards, Braulio. Uh, the best that we're going to do is is we're going to set up the, uh, the gates to the far outside. Um, and then also we're going to try to limit the field sizes. Uh, they're not sure what, what, what number we're going to do. Uh, maybe it's going to be 9, 10. And, and we're going to move the stalls to the far outside as well. So they're trying to give us as much room as possible going into with that turn and, and make it as safe as possible. Well, best of luck this meet and we'll hopefully talk to you later on. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Here with Todd Pletcher. It's extremely successful in the Saratoga meets. Uh, how excited are you for this 2020 meet? Yeah, we're looking forward to it. We got some uh, nice horses that can be running in some important races, so we're uh, excited about the opportunity. Horse specific, the Wilton coming up uh, on opening day, you have a horse uh, breaking from the new Wilson shoot at eight furlongs, and it also drew the rail, which we've heard some back and forth whether the rail is going to be good, bad, is it going to get pinched inside. Any concern with that type of. Uh... No, I mean, I. I think it could be an advantage being inside, you know, with the configuration of it. But it's one of those things we'll, we'll learn a lot about it as the meet goes along and see if there's any trends. But uh, we're comfortable drawing the one hole with her. In the 2022 meet, there's been a lot of talk about how good the jockey colony is. Does this change at all, your selections when picking riders? I mean, we're blessed in New York to have an outstanding jockey colony, you know, definitely the best in the world. And uh, so as a trainer, it gives you a lot of good, good options. And, uh, you know, that's important so uh, just a, a really really good blend of veteran seasoned riders some up-and-coming riders and, and some guys that are you know really really successful and just outstanding riders so 
we're blessed in that category. And then last question for you. We spoke to you about uh, right before the Belmont Stakes, and we talked about how some of the smaller stakes field sizes came back. We saw the Diana this week with overwhelming, one trade with overwhelming nominations. It looks like it's going to draw in about five or six horses, uh, maybe even smaller. Any concern with Saratoga Meet with having these small stakes fields again or anything that you think that can be done? Well, I think the, the, the biggest problem in, uh, that we encounter as trainers in New York is just the cost. So, you know, for, for new stables to come in, we have to do something to, to, to make it more economical for the trainers. I mean, the, the labor costs are huge. The uh, living costs are huge. So I think it makes it difficult to, to attract new trainers to come in. So hopefully uh, some, some strides can be made in the right direction there to, to soften the cost a little bit. And I think if that happens, we'll see an effect on a, a positive effect on the field size. I appreciate your time and good luck with me. Thank you. Here with Rudy Rodriguez, uh, coming into the Saratoga 2022 meet. How are you feeling coming into this meet, and what are you excited about? Uh, we're just happy to be here. Um, it's a lot to look for, that's for sure. Uh, we got Bella Sofia, we got Hot Peppers, uh, we got Valencia Day, we got Music Man Sandy tomorrow. Um, we got Apple Picker, nice two-year-old. And uh, we got the other one, um, Maria from Miami, that she finished store, so it's all good. Talking about Bella Sofia, is she up at Saratoga? And what are you exactly pointing to? Uh, right now, um, she's here. Um, we got two races picked up for her. We kind of taking a look at the 27, to see how it shape up. If you know, we wait. I'm gonna see how she work the next couple of days and then make the decision what we gotta do. In the Skylerville tomorrow, you have a, mount, a horse coming up from Delaware Park who had a nice win last time out. Uh, how are you feeling about the mount? Uh, you know, the Philly, she, she run the way we expect them. She was acting up a little bit in the gate over there in Delaware. But when she got up to the gate, she did everything perfect. So hopefully she moved forward. Any concern with this year? Some of the Philly races seem like they're having a tough time filling. Uh, anything that you're seeing here towards uh, those races? Um, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I got my babies ready, that's all I can do. I'm not sure what the other people are doing with the babies. I'm sure there's a lot of babies on the ground. Um, I don't worry about them, I worry about myself. I love that, focusing on yourself and your yep. barn. Uh, top two-year-old you're looking forward to to see out of your barn this year? Uh, Valencia Day. Thank you very much for your time. Good luck to meet. Thank you, sir.